Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's crochet tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little cardigan sweater, jacket, or coat for baby girls between nine and 12 months old. Last week, I showed you the tutorial for the little vest and I mentioned that I was going to make the same little vest, but we were going to add sleeves to turn it into a nice little cardigan sweater. So here it is and I hope you like it. Comment below and let me know if you like me to make the matching little pants and I can go ahead and do that for you all. Now, this little cardigan sweater, like I said, is for baby girls between between 9 and 12 months old but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from 3 to 6 months up to 12 to 18 months down here in the information box I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out also if you prefer a written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll be adding the written instructions there as soon as they're ready now let's get started but first don't forget all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish also don't forget to subscribe share my tutorials and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching okay to begin i'll be using this four millimeter crochet hook and today i'm using this dk weight yarn in the information box i'll leave you the name of the yarn that i'm using you can also use any number three yarn or if you're in australia you can use any eight ply yarn so here to begin i have 50 chains this chain here is measuring about 28 centimeters which is about 11 inches now if your chain is off by one or two centimeters it's okay just continue so here to continue on the second chain from the hook this one here i'm going to make a single crochet single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next and so on for this first row this is all i'm going to do i'm just going to make single crochets now at the end of this first row i'm going to have 49 single crochets continue and i'll meet you at the end of this first row I finished making this first row this is where we did single crochets and i have a total of 49 single crochets now for the second row chain one turn beginning on top of the first single crochet here make a single crochet now chain one skip one single crochet and into this next one which is the third one from the beginning here you're going to make a shell stitch each one of these shell stitches for this row is going to consist of four double crochets. Now chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make a single crochet. Chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make another shell. chain one skip one single crochet and into this next single crochet we're going to make our first corner so single crochet chain two single crochet now put a stitch marker here where we have these two chains to mark the first corner now this here is going to be the front panel so we have two shells for the front panel now we're going to separate the sleeves for the sleeves same thing we're going to have two shells so chain one skip one single crochet and into the next make your first shell for the sleeve chain one skip one single crochet and into the next make a single crochet chain one skip one single crochet and into the next make your second shell for this sleeve So four double crochets, chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make your second corner. So single crochet, two chains, single crochet. Now put a stitch marker to mark the second corner. So into the chain two space, put your stitch marker. And now here we're going to make the back side. Chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make your first shell for the back side. For the back side, I'm going to make four shell stitches. Here's the first shell, chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make a single crochet chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make your second shell for the back side.
chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, single crochet, chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make your third shell for the back side. Chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make a single crochet, chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make your fourth shell for the back side. Chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next single crochet, make the third corner. So single crochet, two chains, single crochet, put a stitch marker here to mark the third corner. Now we're going to separate the second sleeve. So chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make your first shell for the sleeve here. Chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, single crochet, chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, make your second shell for the second sleeve. Chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Here's the fourth corner, put a stitch marker. Now I need to finish with two shells here. So chain one, skip one single crochet and make your first shell for this second front panel. Chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next single crochet chain one skip one single crochet and into the next make your second shell for the second front panel chain one here i have two single crochets left skip one and into the last one here make a single crochet and here's the second row where we have separated the front panels the sleeves and the back side so for each one of the front panels, I have two and two. For the sleeves, also two and two. And then for the back side, I have four shells. So that's a total of 12 shells for this second row. Now for the third row, chain three, turn. Now here we have this shell stitch here. We have four double crochets into the first two double crochets. Make one front post double crochet on each one chain one two front post double crochets this is what you're going to do on each one of the shells when we do this row of front post double crochets two front post double crochets one chain two front post double crochets now i have the second shell same thing two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets. Now I have the first corner here, remove this stitch marker, and into this stitch marker here, we're going to do the following. We're going to make a V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Here's one V stitch. Chain one and make one more V stitch. Double crochet, chain one double crochet for each corner this is what we're going to do in this row of front post double crochets two v stitches separated by one chain here put this stitch marker back here in the center of the two v stitches and now we're going to continue for the sleeve we have the first shell make two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets. We have the second shell, same thing, two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. 
Now we have the second corner, same thing. Remove the stitch marker. And here inside this chain two space, we're going to make our first V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and then one more V stitch. Now put this stitch marker here in the middle of these two V stitches. And we're going to continue for the back side. Same thing. Two front post double crochets. Chain one, two front post double crochets. Continue and finish the back side. And I'll meet you right about here into this third corner to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these front post double crochets for the back side. Now we have the third corner here. Remove this stitch marker and right inside this chain two space, we're going to make two V stitches. Here's the first V stitch, chain one, and then make a second V stitch. Return this stitch marker to mark the center here in the middle of these two V stitches. And now we have the first shell for the second sleeve. So make two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets, and so on. You're going to do the same thing on the second shell, then you're going to do the same thing I just did here for the corner, two V stitches, and then finish these last two shell stitches. I will meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we have done front post double crochets. Now to finish here into this last single crochet, make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the third row. Now for the fourth row, chain one and turn. Beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a single crochet chain one. Now what we're going to do is inside each one of the chain one spaces here of each one of the shells, we're going to make shell stitches and right in between, right here, we're going to make our single crochet. So let me show you. Beginning here, we have the first chain one space. Make your first shell. Chain one in the middle of these two shells right here. Make a single crochet chain one and into this next chain one space of the next shell, make a shell. Now chain one, now between this first V-stitch and these last two double crochets right in the center, make a single crochet chain one. And now we have the two V-stitches here separated by one chain. So into the first V-stitch, make a shell stitch. This is how we're going to increase in each row. Here's the shell stitch. Now chain one, remove this stitch marker and right here where we have this chain one, make a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Now, return your stitch marker right here where, where we did the two chains between the two single crochets, chain one, and into this second V stitch, make a shell. Now, chain one, and again, right in the middle, this is the second V-stitch and these are the first two. Right in the middle here, make a single crochet chain one and then inside the chain one space, make a shell. Chain one, right in between the shell stitches, single crochet chain one and into the second shell or inside the chain space here, make a shell. chain one and right in the middle here after these two double crochets and before the V stitch make a single crochet chain one and again we have the second corner into the first V stitch make a shell chain one and then remove this stitch marker and right here 
where we have this chain make a single crochet two chains single crochet chain one and into the second V stitch make a shell now before we continue make sure you return the stitch marker right in the center of these two single crochet so into the chain two space and now chain one and right in the middle here make a single crochet chain one and then a shell inside the next shell and this is how you're going to continue until you finish making these shells for the back side I will meet you here this is the third corner I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay I finished making these shell stitches for the back I have five now here I have one chain and right in the middle right here after these two double crochets and before the first V stitch right in the center here make a single crochet chain one and into the first V stitch of this third corner you're going to make another shell this is how we're going to work each one of the corners when we do this row four double crochets chain one remove this stitch marker and right in the center of these two V stitches make a single crochet two chains single crochet now put this stitch marker back here to mark the corner right there chain one and now we have the second V stitch here make another shell stitch now chain one and right in the middle of this next shell and the V stitch here right in the center make a single crochet chain one and then we have this next chain one space make a shell and then you're just going to continue on your own chain one right in the middle here make a single crochet chain one and into the next shell another shell so continue for this row here in this fourth corner you're going to do exactly the same thing we did on each one of the other threes you're going to make a shell then a single crochet two chain single crochet and then a shell into the second v stitch and finish this fourth row i'll meet you at the end of this fourth row i'm here at the end of this fourth row i did my last shell stitch here i did one chain at the end to finish this row we're going to go here into the second chain at the end and make a single crochet and this is how i finish the fourth row with a total of 20 shells for this fourth row now for the fifth row we're going to chain three and turn in this row i have to make this row of front post double crochets so into each one of the shells this is what you're going to do i'm going to show you these three and then i'm going to show you the corner and then you're going to continue on your own so each one of the shells you're going to start with two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets jump to the next shell and do the same thing two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets the third one same thing two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets now we have the first corner remove this stitch marker and inside this chain two space you're going to make two v stitches here's the first one double crochet chain one double crochet now chain one and make another one so you're going to make two v stitches for each corner and make sure you chain one to separate the v stitches so like this now we're going to continue along this side and do the same thing we have the first shell make two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets and so on continue for the rest of this fifth row each one of the corners you're going to do exactly in the same way as i showed you here two v stitches and then a chain one make sure you put back your stitch marker to mark the center here 
and then continue. I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. This is where we have done these front post double crochets. Now to finish here at the end, on top of this last single crochet, make a double crochet. And this is how I finish this fifth row. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain one turn, beginning on top of this last double crochet that I did, make a single crochet, chain one. In this row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did on the fourth row. So we're going to make shell stitches inside each one of these chain spaces, then single crochet, shell, single crochet, shell, single crochet. Here I'm going to show you how to work the first corner so that you can do exactly the same thing on the next three. So here, to begin inside this chain space, make your first shell, chain one, single crochet between the shells, chain one, second shell, chain one, single crochet between the shells, chain one, and your third shell. Chain one, between the v-stitch and the last two double crochets make a single crochet chain one and then we have the first corner we have the first v-stitch inside this v-stitch make a shell chain one remove this stitch marker and right in the center of these two v-stitches make a single crochet two chains, single crochet, return your stitch marker to the center here where we did the two chains and now chain one and we have the second V stitch make a shell. And this is how you're going to work each one of the corners. You're going to make a shell then single crochet, two chain, single crochet, and then shell. Remember that before the shell we do a chain and after the shell we always do a chain. Now here, chain one, and right in the middle here of the V-stitch and the two double crochets, make a single crochet, chain one, and then inside the next shell, make your next shell. And this is all you're going to do for this sixth row. So continue finish this row and I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. This is where we have done shell stitches. Now here at the end, I have a total of 28 shell stitches for this sixth row. To finish, chain one and into the second chain here at the end, make a single crochet. And this is how I finish the sixth row with 28 shell stitches. Now for the seventh row, chain three and turn. Now here we're going to do the same thing we do when we have the shell stitches. You're going to make two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. Jump to the next one and do exactly the same thing. I'm going to do this until I come to the first corner where I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay, here's my last shell stitch for the front panel. We have four. Now we have the first corner. Now in each one of the corners, this is what you're going to do. I'm not going to increase any more shells. So what I'm going to do here into this first corner is I'm going to make one V-stitch. Just like this, just one V-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. This is what you're going to do on each one of the next three corners. And then for the shells, you're going to do the same thing for each one. Two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. Continue like this for this seventh row and I'll meet you at the end. 
I'm here at the end of this seventh row to finish this row I'm going to go here to the end where I have the single crochet and make a double crochet and this is how I finish this seventh row this is where we did these front post double crochets and on each corner in this row we only did one v-stitch so we have four v-stitches one for each corner now for the eighth row chain one and turn beginning on top of this double crochet make a single crochet chain one and inside each one of the chain one spaces of each shell stitch you're going to make a shell stitch so four double crochets chain one right in the middle between the two shells a single crochet chain one and then again another shell I'm going to do this until I come to the first corner where I'm going to show you what we're going to do for each one okay so here's my fourth shell for the front panel one two three four now chain one and we have the first v stitch here remove the stitch marker for this corner and right inside the v stitch here make a single crochet two chains single crochet now chain one we have the first shell here for the sleeve make a shell this is all we're going to do here for each one of the corners exactly in the same way single crochet two chains single crochet put back your stitch marker here and continue and do the same thing on each corner I will meet you at the end of this eighth row I'm here at the end of this eighth row this is where I did these shell stitches I have one chain here at the end so to finish this row we're going to go into the second chain and make a single crochet and this is how I finished the eighth row with a total of 28 shell stitches now for row 9 we're going to chain 3 and turn now for these shells same thing we're going to work two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets I'm going to do this until I come to the first corner so that I can show you what we're going to do on each corner from here on now we have the first corner this is what you're going to do into this chain two space make a v-stitch and that's what you're going to do on each one of the corners double crochet chain one double crochet now continue and do the same thing for each one of the shells here for the sleeve and once you get to the second corner you're going to do the same thing for the second third fourth and fifth I'm here at the end of this ninth row this is where we did front post double crochets and we did V stitches into each one of the corners here at the end I finished by making a double crochet here into this single crochet at the end now for the tenth row we're going to chain one and turn beginning on top of this first double crochet make a single crochet chain one and inside each one of the chain one spaces of each shell you're going to make shell stitches and then right in the middle single crochet so let me show you here I'm going to do this front panel and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do on here in the first corner so that you can do the same thing for the rest Here's the last shell for this front panel. There's four. 
Now I have the first corner. This is what you're going to do into each one of the corners. You're going to do a single crochet into this V-stitch, two chains, single crochet, chain one, and then continue on and make your shell stitches for this sleeve. And then when you come to the second, third, and fourth corner inside the V-stitch, you're going to do a single crochet, two chain, single crochet. Continue like this to the end of this 10th row, and I'll meet you at the end. I finished making this 10th row. This is where we did shell stitches. I have a total of 28 shell stitches for this 10th row. Now, what we're going to do in the next row is we're going to divide the sleeves. So chain three and turn. Here, what we're going to do for each one of these shell stitches is two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. I'm going to continue like this until I come to the first corner where I'm going to show you how we're going to divide the sleeves. Okay, so this front panel here is done. I have four shells. Now we have the first corner. What I'm going to do here is inside this chain two space of this corner, you're going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now to divide the sleeve, chain one, skip one, two, three, four, five, six shell stitches and into this second corner remove the stitch marker and into this chain two space make the same thing two double crochets chain one two double crochets and this is how we divide this first sleeve and that's what it looks like now if you want to add more chains here under the sleeve you can i think that for the size that we're making is perfect with just one chain now you're just going to continue along the back side and work two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets on each one of these shells for the back side. I will meet you right here to show you once again how to divide the second sleeve. I finished making these front post double crochets for the back side. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shells. Now into this corner here. I'm going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now to separate the sleeve, chain one, skip one, two, three, four, five, six shells, and into this fourth corner, make two double crochets. chain one, two double crochets, and then continue with working two front post double crochets, chain one, chain one, two front post double crochets on each one of these shells until you finish this first row. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this first row. This is where we have divided the sleeves. Now here at the end, all I did was just make a double crochet. Now I have five shells and five shells for each one of the front panels, and then the back side, I'm going to have 10. Now in the next row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop using this four millimeter hook, and I'm going to start using this 4.5 millimeter hook. I want the bottom part of this little vest or little jacket to be a bit more full. If you want to continue with the same hook, the four millimeter, it's okay, you can do that. Um, this here is just going to help with the fullness of the skirt or the bottom of the little vest. Now, if you're using a different hook size to make this smaller or bigger, just go up um, half a hook size. So here for the second row, chain one and turn. 
and beginning on top of this first double crochet make a single crochet chain one now inside each one of these shells in this row we have to do the row of shells so i'm going to make four double crochets here chain one and right in the middle of the two shells make a single crochet chain one I'm going to continue like this until I come to the um, under the sleeve here. Now do not chain here. What we're going to do is right here into this chain that we did when we divided, make four double crochets. This is where we're going to increase one extra shell. There, that's four double crochets. And now I have the first shell for the back side. Same thing, four double crochets. Now chain one and right in the middle of these two make a single crochet chain one and then continue with the same thing until you come to the next sleeve. Here you're going to make your last shell. Don't chain, uh, but instead go here into the first chain and make four double crochets just like I did here and then continue and make your first shell for the front panel here and then continue and finish. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we have done these shells and under each sleeve, we added an extra shell. So at the end of this second row, you should have 22 shell stitches. Now here to finish, chain one at the end and into the second chain here, make a single crochet. And this is how I finished the second row. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. In this third row, we need to do the row of front post double crochets. So you're going to do the exact same thing on it on each shell you're going to make two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets and then do the same thing into the next one two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets continue like this here under the sleeve where we added these four double crochets you're going to do the same thing two front post double crochets chain one two front post double crochets and then continue finish this third row and i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this third row this is where we did front post double crochets now to finish this row you're always going to make a double crochet here at the end and this is how i finish this row now from here on these are the two rows that you're going to repeat the row of front post double crochets and the row of shell stitches so for row four i need to repeat the row of shell stitches so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to chain one and beginning on top of this first double crochet make a single crochet chain one and then inside each one of the chain one spaces of each one of the shells you're going to do a shell each one of the shell stitches consists of four double crochets, chain one, and then right in the middle of the two shells right here, a single crochet chain one, and then again, a shell inside the next chain one space. This is how you're going to continue for this fourth row. When you finish this row, you're going to repeat the last row that I just showed you, the front post double crochet row. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but just continue and repeat these two rows and continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do, so I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making this part. I did a total of 17 rows. So from here where we divided the sleeves up to the last row, there's 17. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. The last row here for me is this row of front post double crochets. Now it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end here, this last row, it's measuring about 30 centimeters, which is about 11.75 inches. If you want to make this part here longer, you can. I'm going to go ahead 
ahead and make about three more rows here. So for row 18, this is what we're going to do. We're going to chain one, turn. Now to begin here on top of this first double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now in this row, I'm going to alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet. So beginning into this second double crochet, make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet and into the next back post half double crochet. This is all I'm going to do for this row. I'm just going to alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet. Now what you can also do if you if you have a hard time making these front post half double crochets and back post half double crochets, you can add maybe two rows more of the same pattern and just leave it like that. Or you can do single crochets, maybe three or four rows of just single crochets. Um, so that's another option, but I'm just going to continue here alternating between front post and back post half double crochets. Continue like this to the end of this 18th row and I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this 18th row. This is where we did front post and back post half double crochets. Now to finish this 18th row into the second chain here, make a half double crochet. Now we're going to repeat the same thing for row 19 and 20. So chain one, turn, beginning on top of the first half double crochet here, make a half double crochet, then do the same thing. A front post half double crochet, then a back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, and so on. You're going to continue like this till you finish, then you're going to repeat the same thing for row 20. I'll meet you at the end of the 20th row. Okay, I finished making this part. I did three rows of front post and back post half double crochet, so I finished row 20. Now, what we're going to do is along the, along the side here of the front panels and around the neckline, we're going to make single crochets. So to do this, chain one here here's our last half double crochet that i did to finish make a single crochet now into the next row make a single crochet and into the next row a single crochet so i have three single crochets here now these are the three chains then single crochet three single crochet so here where we have these three chains i'm going to make two single crochets in the row where I have the single crochet, I'm going to make one. So I'm just going to continue now like this, two, then one, two, then one. And that's all. I'm going to do this until I come to the top here. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along this front panel. Now I have a total of 43 single crochets. And my last one is here into this row of chains that we have. So that's number 43. If you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay. Just um, make sure that when you do the other front panel, you have the same number of stitches. That's the important thing. So here, we're going to continue along the neckline before I do that into this last stitch where I did this stitch number 43, I'm going to make two more single crochets. This is so that I can turn here easily. And now into these remaining chains that we have along the neckline, we're just going to make one single crochet on each one. So like this, that's all I'm going to do. So continue making these single crochets and I'll meet you at the other end. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along the neckline. Now we're going to do the same number of single crochets that we did here in this front panel. We're going to do them here. For me, it was 43 single crochets. So here into this last single crochet, I'm going to make two more single crochets. Then into this next row, single crochet, I'm going to make one. Then I have this row where I have a single crochet here at the end, so make one. Then I'm going to do two one, two, one, and so on. Continue, finish the side, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along this other side. Now what we're going to do here is chain one and turn. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to work single crochets again. So one single crochet for each one of the single crochets that we did on the previous row, just like this. 
we're going to do this here for this front panel then around the neckline again and then i'll meet you here at this other end to show you how we're going to add buttonholes on this side okay i finished making these single crochets along the neckline this is where i told you i was going to add buttonholes along this front panel but i've decided not to add buttonholes so what i'm going to do instead is just continue and work single crochets now the reason why i'm not going to add buttonholes it's because the spaces that are left between this first row and the second row right here is big enough for this button to go through these buttons that i'm going to use are 11 millimeter and as you can see it easily goes through so that's what i'm going to do so you can do the same thing these buttons are 11 millimeter or 7 16th of an inch i purchased these from um, hobby lobby so i'm going to use in this color so i'm just going to continue here and work single crochets until i come here to the end then i'm going to attach my buttons to this side so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'll come back and show you this finished part okay i finished making these single crochets for this front panel now here at the end i did my last single crochet cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop also i went ahead and added my buttons now these buttons here i went ahead and tie them here and i'm just going to hide these hands here along the inside i have six buttons these buttons here like i said are 11 millimeter and i'm going to use the spaces in between the single crochets here as my buttonhole so that's why we didn't add any see perfect now what we're going to do next is with this four millimeter hook we're going to go right here this is where we finished so i'm going to use this off-white yarn also a dk weight yarn and i'm going to go right here this is where i did my last single crochet i'm going to grab a loop here and i'm going to chain three now skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one single crochet and into the next slip stitch chain three skip one single crochet and into the next slip stitch chain three this is how i'm going to continue for this front panel then i'm going to go around the neckline and here on i'm going to do the same thing for this other front panel i'll meet you here at the end to show you the finished sweater or finished vest okay i went ahead and finished this last row that we did all around the edge here now this is the tutorial for the vest that i just showed you and i mentioned that i was going to go ahead and do the exact same vest and i was going to add sleeves so this is the part where it's going to change i already went ahead and did my vest as you can see it's all done i did it exactly in the same way as this tutorial up to this part here where we did the edge so now what we're going to do here is now before we continue if you want to see the tutorial for just the vest just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page you will find the tutorial for the vest there but here we're going to continue now with the little sweater everything is exactly the same as the vest so that's why i went ahead and showed you that tutorial but this is where we're going to change it a bit so here before i continue this is the yarn that i'm using this is a dk weight yarn which is the same weight yarn that i used for the uh, little vest so here we're going to continue here and this is where i finished with the vest i just did my last slip stitch cut my yarn passed my yarn through that last loop so for the little sweater i'm going to continue all around so here i'm just going to chain three and I'm going to skip one stitch and into the next here, make a slip stitch, chain three, skip one half double crochet and into the next, make a slip stitch, chain three, skip one half double crochet and into the next, make a slip stitch. I'm going to continue like this until I come here to this end. Now, if you want to cut your yarn here, you can, it's optional. I'm just going to show you exactly what I did with this little sweater. So I'm going to finish here at this end by making my last slip stitch, cutting my yarn and then passing my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is going to be done. And then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to do the sleeves. So I'll go ahead and finish the bottom part and then I'll meet you back to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I finished making this row all around here at the end. I just did my last slip stitch, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. And then I just hid my ends on the inside. And this part here is all done. That's what it looks like. Now, I also went ahead and added three buttons here. For the vest, I added six. You can do the same thing for the little jacket. That would be up to you. And remember that when we were making the little vest, I mentioned that the button holes were going to be the spaces in between the single crochets which is the same thing that i did here now these little buttons here are also 11 millimeter i did try some 12 millimeters and they do go through so you can also use 12 millimeter buttons now what we're going to do next is we're going to make the sleeves now i already went ahead and did the left side so now i'm going to show you how to do the right side to do the right side from the left side there is a slight difference so i'm going to show you here what you're going to do for the left side first so when you do this side the difference is right here this is where i joined at the end of every row i want to make sure that it's on the back side if i start this right side in the same way that i did the left side the line where we join is going to be showing on the front i want it to show in the back so that's why we need to do this thing a little bit different for each side so we're going to go right here right under the sleeve right here we have this shell this is the shell that we did on the second row after we divided the sleeves so right next to the shell on both sides we have these two gaps when you do the left side you're going to go right here so let me show you you're going to insert your hook right here this is for the left side okay you're going to grab a loop and we're going to use the same hook the four millimeter hook and you're going to chain three into this space again insert your hook and make a double crochet chain one and then two double crochets now the only difference here is for the first and second row so now I have this shell I'm going to go into this second space and make a shell same thing two double crochets chain one two double crochets now we have this single crochet before the first shell for the sleeve right on top of this single crochet make a double crochet and then we have the first shell for the sleeve. Make two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets, and then you're going to do the same thing for each one of the shells. Remember, for the sleeve, we have six shells. Now, when you finish this row for the left side, you're going to join here to the top of the third chain with a slip stitch, then we're going to chain one and turn. So the only difference is that you're going to start in this space and not in this space because that is where I'm going to start for the right side, this side. For both sleeves, you're going to start your first row from the inside out. So here, for the right sleeve, chain three, and into this space, make a double crochet chain one and then two double crochets. At the end of this row is where I'm going to add my last shell, just like this. Now we have the single crochet here. This part is the same. Make a double crochet, and then we have the first shell. Make two front post double crochets. Chain one, and then two front post double crochets. And that's all you're going to do for each one of the shells all around so continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this first row i'm here at the end of this first row i did my last shell here now i have the single crochet right here make a double crochet into this single crochet and now if you're doing the other side right here you already have a shell so all you need to do is just make a slip stitch into the third chain now, since we're doing the right side, I still need to make my shell here. So I'm going to go into this space here and make my shell. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now to finish, we're going to go here, here into this third chain and make a slip stitch. 
and this is how I finished the first row to the sleeve with a total of eight shells. Now for the second row, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain one and turn. You're going to do the same thing if you're making this for the left side. You're going to be right here. So all you're going to do is chain one, turn, and make a single crochet into the double crochet. That's the only difference. So here I'm going to make a single crochet into the space. Now chain one, and right here where I have the first shell, make four double crochets. Now chain one. Now I have this double crochet right on top, make a single crochet, chain one, and then inside this first shell, make four double crochets. Now this part is the same for both sides. So all you do is a shell, chain one, and right in the middle of the shells, single crochet, chain one, and then a shell. Continue like this for this second row, and I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. Now, here what I did was a single crochet on top of the double crochet, and then inside this shell, I did a shell. I already chained one here at the end, so I'm just going to go here where I have the first single crochet, and I'm going to join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the second row with a total of eight shells all around. Now, if you're making the left sleeve, you're going to be right here. So into this single crochet, you're going to just make a slip stitch, and then from here on, it's exactly in the same way, either side. So we're going to turn, and we have the first shell here for this third row. We're going to work a front post slip stitch, chain three, and then make a front post double crochet, chain one, and then two front post double crochets. This is what you're going to do on each one of the shells. Two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. Continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish this row, whenever you have to repeat this row, front post double crochets, all you're going to do is just go here to the side where we have the, the chains and on top of the third chain, you're going to make a slip stitch. And this is how I finished this third row. Now, from here on, you're always going to have eight shells, and you're going to repeat these two rows, the third row and the fourth row that I'm about to show you. So for the fourth row, you're going to chain one and turn. Now, from here on, like I said, both sides is the same. So if you're making the left sleeve, it's exactly the same way. So into this space here, make a single crochet, chain one, and then inside each one of the chain one spaces of each one of the shells, you're going to make four double crochets. So we're going to make these shells here. Now chain one in the middle of the two shells, make a single crochet, chain one, and then again inside the next chain one space, make your second shell, and then continue like this for the rest of this fourth row. Continue and I'll meet you at the end to show you once again how to begin the row front post double crochets, and then you're going to continue on your own until we have a total of 17 rows for the sleeve. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I did my last shell here. I have a chain here at the end. To finish, we're going to go here where we have a single crochet and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the fourth row. Like I said, from here on, we're going to repeat these two rows until we have a total of 17 rows. So for the fifth row, we're going to turn here like this. In the fifth row, we need to make the row of front post double crochets. So to start this row, all you're going to do is just turn, do not chain or anything, just turn. And then we have the first double crochet for the first shell. Insert your hook like this and make a front post slip stitch. Now chain three, make a front post double crochet, 
chain one, two front post double crochets. Now we have the second shell, same thing. For each one of the shells, you're going to do two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. That's all we're going to do. So finish this fifth row, and then you're going to repeat the same thing we did here for the row of shells, the fourth row. Now, like I said, just continue and repeat these two rows, and I'll meet you at the end of row 17. Okay, I finished making the sleeve. I did a total of 17 rows. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. My last row here is the row of front post double crochets. Now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to chain one and turn. Now into this space here, I'm going to make a single crochet. For the next three rows, row 18, 19, and 20, this is what we're going to do. We're going to alternate between front post and back post half double crochets. So here to begin, yarn over, and right here we have the first double crochet, make a front post half double crochet. Yarn over again and make a back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet and into the next back post half double crochets. Now continue like this all around. When you finish this 18th row, you're going to go here to the side where we have the chain, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing. You're going to do three rows of front post and back post half double crochets. And at the end of every row, you're going to have 32 front post and back post half double crochets. So continue finish this part this is what it's going to look like three rows of front post and back post half double crochets so continue and finish and i'll meet you back once this part here is done to show you the finished sleeve okay i finished making these three rows of front post and back post half double crochets now if you have a hard time making front post and back post half double crochets then you can do maybe three or four rows here of single crochets and it should also look very nice as well now what I did here to finish was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. Now, what we're going to do next, I'm going to show you how to make this row here, which is the same thing we did all around here, um, the collar and the front panels and the bottom. So to do this with the same hook, the four millimeter hook, we're going to go right here where we, where I did my last slip stitch. I'm going to grab a loop here and chain three. one two three now i'm going to skip this first half double crochet and into the second right here make a slip stitch now chain three again skip this next half double crochet and into the next a slip stitch chain three skip one and into the next slip stitch this is all i'm going to do all around so continue and finish and then i'll meet you back to show you the finished sweater Okay, I went ahead and finished this last row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop, and the sleeve is all done. That's what it looks like. Now, you're going to do exactly the same thing that I showed you here on this side, except for the first two rows. Make sure to go back um, in the video to watch this part so that you can start your sleeve in the right way. So the only difference is those first two rows, like I said. Okay, so this little jacket here is all done. So now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the neckline to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 12 inches, which is about 30.5 centimeters. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 19.5 centimeters, which is about 7.75 inches, the length. From the top of the neckline down to the end of this last row, it's measuring about 32.5 centimeters, which is about 12.5 inches. Now the chest area, just the top, it's measuring about 28 centimeters, which is about 11 inches. So based on these measurements, this little jacket, coat, or sweater is for baby girls between 9 and 12 months. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger, I'd say from three to six months up to 12 to 18 months. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so the little jacket is all done. That's what it looks like. Here's the back and the sleeves. 
So this completes today's tutorial. Comment below and let me know if you want me to make the matching little pants and I'll go ahead and do that for you all. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.